What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. There's been a lot of to do about the latest modems and 5G speeds, specifically around how much of an improvement T-Mobile service has been. Well, in the traditional argumental sense, we have our iPhone 14 Pro and our Pixel 7 Pro, and I want to give you a side-by-side -side speed test, Wi-Fi turned off on T-Mobile 5G, obviously same location, and kind of see if the modem in the 14 Pro Max actually is improved to where it's holding on to a better signal than what traditionally an Android phone can do. You can see that truly being the case right here in the signal strength bars, but let's run the speed test and see how it does. We'll run it a couple times and then we'll do one on Wi-Fi just to see if it's still latching onto a, song, a stronger signal strength in that regard. Let's jump right into this and go. So right off the bat, this is actually pretty insane. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, but you can see, holding on in ultra capacity, 5G, just what we pulled in, down, on the Pixel 7 Pro over this really poor performance on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So, substantial difference. This test is even still running, but we only got 77.9 down on the iPhone and 560 down on the Pixel 7 Pro. Upload was a lot closer, but still, this basically almost doubled what the iPhone offered. Uh, that's pretty insane. Uh, I'm not sure why, but we have heard that the modem in the Pixel 7 Pro is much improved. Uh, let's run this again. That's pretty shocking, actually. Let's see what happens on this run-through. Again, like I said, we are running on 5G Ultra Capacity, and this is a little better, but still, nowhere near what we're getting on the Pixel 7 Pro. The ping alone was 21 milliseconds, rather on the uh, Pixel 7 Pro is only 14. So the Pixel 7 Pro is beating it out in every sense right now. There is not a single aspect in download, upload, or ping that is being beaten on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. You can see we're still chugging along. I mean, this is a multitude better. This is three, four times better than what we're getting here. Um, okay, we'll do it one more time, and then we'll turn Wi-Fi on. Actually, you know what? Let's just let's close the apps themselves and relaunch it just because. So, let's do this again. Fresh launch. Let it pick up everything. We got 5G back. And let's do this for a third test. Yeah, so, okay. Definitely not seeing any improvements from relaunching it. Uh, that is shocking. Okay. Let's finish this one. And then we'll go ahead and run through uh, a test on Wi-Fi to see how well it actually holds on to that signal strength still chugging along all right just finished again 587 down 30 up 254 downs so much improved than the last two tests but still it's being beaten by almost double at least actually over double on the pixel 7 pro so let's go ahead and turn wi-fi on wait till it connects and we'll run this two final times and I think we obviously know what's going on already here uh, I I'm still kind of shocked I can't believe that but yeah here we are so you can see we're both running on Wi-Fi now here it's showing my AT&T internet we do have gigabit in, uh, internet here so let's see what we're pulling in well that's interesting. Let's try that again. It could have not latched onto the network yet. Very interesting. Alright. So, as you can see here, after a slow start, 
they are somewhat more comparable. The iPhone actually beat it barely. Um, obviously we have an upload of 16.8 here, download of 79.1, as opposed to on the Pixel 7 Pro, 74.7 down, and it looks like it's going to end about 34 up. <coughs> so, we'll do this one more time, and let's see what we get here. I'm actually kind of shocked it's loading so so poorly, honestly, and there we go, we're having another issue. Um, I am actually definitely excited to see how well it works. We did order that new Google uh, Nest Wi-Fi Pro or whatever it's being called now. So that has 6E capabilities. Our current Wi-Fi is actually just Wi-Fi 6. But we'll see what sort of improvement we get when we get that device in-house next week. As you can see here, again, it's much more comparable. It Actually, the Pixel 7 Pro just edged out the iPhone 14 Pro. Uh, and the upload is definitely going to beat it. Quite handily here as well. This is staying steady at 54. Oh, excuse me, 12.4 now, and this one's going to hit a lot heavier on that on 86.6. So, obviously not the most scientific test, but you can clearly see that Google, whatever they did with this baby in the Pixel 7 Pro, the uh, the network connection. Even though the signal strength is not showing, it is truly pulling in and holding down a lot better of a signal than what you're getting on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. There's a lot of talk about the signal strength being lower on the iPhone series than what you would get on a comparable Android phone. And now you can clearly see we're pulling in a better visual signal strength, but truly what we're getting in for as far as results are still unrivaled. Google still has that on Point with what it is actually downloading. So, thumbs up this video, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.